Kids Connection. Family and child counselor and educational therapist Lorraine Purcell is here this morning. And today we're talking about something that as parents we're probably all guilty of yelling at your kids. And it's something, Lorraine, that we don't like to admit that we do, but probably most of us, in fact, do this. Yes, and in fact, I'm so excited to share this story today <laughs> because that's how this whole thing started for me, was I found myself yelling uncontrollably at my son when he was four years old. And I realized, oh my gosh, I need help. So I went to counseling for many years. And it, it, you, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> you, the counselor, yes. went to counseling yes. for yes. this? Okay, all right. Well, if the truth be told, that's the truth about most counselors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So you, you knew you needed some help yes. because it was getting a little out of control. Yes. So tell me more. So I went to counseling for many years, healed a lot of my past issues, a lot of my old wounds, and said, you know, I really like doing this. It helped me so much. So I got my master's in counseling, mm -hmm. marriage, family, and child counseling, and have gone on to... Um, coach families for the last 20 years and women. Yeah. Where does this, um, I, I guess it's just a, a, a reflex. We don't think about it. Where does this come from, the need mm -hmm. to yell at our kids a little bit? You know, it's what I call a knee-jerk response. Yeah. You just want, and it's before you even know it, it's out of your mouth. <clears throat> yeah. And so it comes from old things that aren't healed in our past. Otherwise, we wouldn't just respond like that. So something your child is doing is evoking something that's really angry making. And what I understand from my practice and being in counseling for so long is that um, that is something that is unhealed from our childhood. And anger is never about the issue at hand. It's always about something deeper. From the parent's perspective, that's where we start. When that's we look where, at this. yeah, that's where it is. Either our parents were impatient with us on those sorts of things, or they went off on us on those that's sorts of things. That's the way. That's the way they were taught to be parents, yes. and so that's yes. the way we learn to to parent ourselves. Absolutely. So, but that obviously yelling at your kids probably not the best way to discipline. No, and there are some statistics that show that kids who are yelled at have a high risk of teen depression. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's very demeaning to be all yelled right. at. Now, we've all heard uh, the reports that, you know, instead of yelling at your kids, if you feel the need to, count to 10 yeah. and things like that. And I'm thinking, I don't even get to three before I'm yelling. So give us yeah. some tips. Give our, our, our audience some tips as, as some options when we're thinking of yelling at our kids. This is great, Kevin, because if you really anchor in, you can start to feel it in your body. There's somewhere in your body that starts to flare. It could be your heart area. Some clients have told me it's their hands. It could be your legs. It could be your gut. It could be your head. And you start to feel this flare go on. So it's a body cue that happens first before you start to flare. So when you get really in tune and you notice what goes on just before you start to want to yell, which takes some discipline and some rewinding. You mm -hmm. might want to go, okay, what was happening just before that happened? What triggered it? What triggered it and what in my body? So when you start to know the body cue, then you go, oh, there's that feeling again. Mommy needs a break. <laughs> Mommy needs a timeout. Okay. And you just, you just separate yourself for a few minutes while you breathe. Breathing is the best way to break that anger trance because it is actually a hypnotic trance. All right, we've got a, a, just a minute left, so tell everybody about the ebook you've written, <laughs> yeah. Stop Yelling at Your Kids. Great title. Yeah, well, I love this ebook because I love parents knowing that that's where I started, that I'm not just this uppity parent mentor person. But I really started from that place. And okay. so I wrote a 50 page ebook that's geared for moms to keep their cool. It's packed with tips on how to take care of you so that you don't find yourself yelling because that's what makes it happen. It's stress. Something's going on that's stressful inside of us. All right. So it's just packed with that. And that's at stopyellingatyourkids.com. We've got the information. We can put <laughs> it up on the screen there for our audience. Again, stopyellingatyourkids.com. Lorraine, thank you so much. Thanks, Kevin. It was All great. Right. All right, we'll be, we'll be right back in a minute.